The Hilton family has almost always been associated with luxury lifestyles and glamour. Kathy and Rick Hilton live even more lavish than their daughter Paris Hilton, owning mansions in Bel Air, the Hamptons, and even a luxury penthouse in Manhattan. With a net worth of an estimated $350 million, Kathy Hilton is the richest cast member to ever star on the reality series The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She's even openly said she only did the show to spend time with her sister and fellow cast member Kyle Rick. Richards, because it's not like she needed the money. When Real Housewives of Beverly Hills gave fans a glimpse into Kathy's life and home, beyond the gates of the legendary Hilton family mansion, you'll find a mix of opulence, endless wealth, and a touch of quirky charm. Let's dig into the mansions, extravagant lifestyle, love story, and more of Kathy and Rick Hilton. Kathy and Rick Hilton are well known for their prominent status in society. Their love manages to transcend the glitz and glamour often associated with their name. Kathy Hilton, born Kathleen Elizabeth Avanzino on March 13th, 1959, and Richard Howard Hilton, born on August 17th, 1955, first crossed paths in the high society circles of LA. The couple's initial meeting was marked by a magnetic connection, but it was made easier as they both came from affluent families. Kathy and Rick shared plenty of common ground in their upbringing and values. Their courtship took place against the backdrop of the opulent lifestyle that accompanies the Hilton name. Rick, an heir of the Hilton Hotel Empire, brought his business skills and entrepreneurial spirit to the relationship. Kathy, on the other hand, was already a well-known socialite with a keen sense of fashion and style. Together, they formed a power couple that would navigate the challenges of balancing family life and high-profile responsibilities. The couple tied the knot on November 24, 1979, in a lavish and star-studded ceremony when Kathy Kathy was only 20 years old. However, she keeps most details of her wedding and marriage under wraps. As their love story unfolded, Kathy and Rick Hilton welcomed four children into their lives, Paris, Nikki, Baron, and Conrad. Despite the demands of their respective careers and public scrutiny that often accompanies a life in the spotlight, the Hiltons remained committed to their family. Kathy and Rick Hilton have weathered the storms of life together, supporting each other through successes and challenges. Their enduring love and commitment has definitely served as a foundation for their family's growth and success. While they keep their romance pretty private, Kathy has opened up about the kind of gifts she and Rick give each other. She once said, for our big anniversary, you're not gonna believe what I got. It was a sterling silver shell. But Rick collects shells. It was for him. As for Kathy's gift to Rick, a sweater. I buy him a sweater for Christmas and his anniversary always. Kathy has opened the doors to the mega mansion she shares with Rick, especially for the Real Housewives. Located in Bel Air, Los Angeles, their long time stunning home boasts 14,980 square feet of space, along with seven beds, and eight baths. Walking in, first impressions make all the difference, seeing the grand entry foyer with black and white checkerboard floor underfoot. Kathy also loves decorating for Christmas and starts super early, just like me, but more on that in just a little bit. Over in the kitchen, the space boasts an all white theme with top grade appliances, including a double oven, and there's also a center island and butler's pantry. There's a formal living room with fireplace, as well as an epic dining room with crystals chandelier overhead. In season 11 of Real Housewives viewers got to see more of Kathy's Bel Air estate. She had the ladies over for breakfast in her blue and white living room and allowed them to play around on her tennis courts. Inside, Kathy's home decor mixes classic, traditional touches with a modern twist. For example, there's a cabinet of blue and white figurines and an antique painting hanging over the grand staircase. But there's also artwork from Takashi Murakami and an Andy Warhol portrait of Mick Jagger. Elsewhere, Kathy and Rick's home boasts a wood paneled lounge with another fireplace and a classic vibe, a space that always looks cozy when she decorates it for Christmas. Aside from the tennis courts, the sprawling grounds boast some charming landscaping and plenty of spaces to sit and entertain. Of course, there's also a large swimming pool and sun loungers. In fact, Kathy and Rick's yard is somewhat famous. It inspired the set of the Real Housewives season 11 reunion, and recently the Hilton matriarch gave the space a makeover too. Kathy and her designer added a new outdoor dining set to the yard, as well as more seating around the fireplace and threw in updated accessories such as new outdoor pillows and table linens. 
Now, I told you we'd talk more about Christmas. Christmas is also the holiday where the Hiltons go big, especially Cappy, who has showed off her incredible Christmas decor, including her many, many stunning trees. Cappy shared, I normally start decorating in October, then keep adding until December. The only thing she doesn't do though, light. She added about why she doesn't put up the lights. It's just that I'm not actually good at it and I like things perfect. Each year, usually Kathy changes the color scheme, but regardless, it always looks beautiful. Such as the other year where she set up the family mansion with red, gold, white, and a ton of tinsel. In the grand foyer, the space features lighter colors and silver tinsel to give it that miracle on 34th street kind of feeling. Because Kathy and Rick's mansion is so large, she does get some help decorating from a wonderful lady that helps me and she's a young man that comes and helps me with all the stuff that's really high up because that's a little scary, she said. Over in the wood paneled lounge, they set up another beautiful Christmas tree. Kathy goes all out for the Hilton family's Christmas morning too. She said, I do a really fabulous Christmas day brunch where she cooks a frittata with really nice vegetables and sour cream and caviar and these little cinnamon rolls, bacon and pancakes with melted butter and really good syrup. During an episode of Real Housewives, fans got a glimpse of some of the items underneath the Hilton Christmas tree and the gifts were just as fancy as you'd imagine, with boxes from Baccarat and Dr. Barbara Sturm, and one from Hermes. Now, while Kathy and Rick's Bel Air mansion is their home base, that's only the tip of their real estate portfolio. Back in 1999, they paid $2.4 million for a seven-bedroom, three-acre property in the Hamptons, which they rent out over summer seasons for $400,000 or more. In 2016, they paid $9.3 million for another large mansion in Bel and in 2014, they paid $2.5 million for a gorgeous condo in New York City's exclusive Pierre Hotel. Speaking of New York City, while Kathy and Rick own a flat at the exclusive Pierre Hotel, they're used to luxury living in the Big Apple. In fact, they raised their family in the bougie Waldorf Astoria building some years back. I mean, Paris Hilton even talked about this in her book, I remember. Before moving into their California mansion, Kathy and Rick Hilton raised their kids, Paris, Nikki, Baron, and Conrad in a luxury 30th floor penthouse at the posh Waldorf Towers at the hotel. While that might seem like an odd place to raise a family, the Hiltons have major ties to the hotel world. I mean, obviously. Not only is Rick part of the famous Hilton Hotel family, but Kathy used to work in the banquet and sales department at the Waldorf Astoria. The Hiltons were able to live in the penthouse in the residential section of the Waldorf because Rick's father had owned the hotel since the 1940s and they went on to live there for nine years. Kathy spoke about the experience saying it was very, very lovely. We loved being in close quarters under one roof, except when Paris would sneak out of the service elevator. In terms of the rest of Kathy and Rick's glamorous life, I could go on and on. And of course they have perks like their own staff too, including full-time butlers working in their home and a regular staff on rotation for special events. When it comes to hosting special events, nobody throws a gathering celebration or a classy party like Kathy. When she hosted a viewing party for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, she went all out as expected, decorating her backyard with balloons that spelt out Beverly Hills, while serving guests the largest pizza in the world from Big Mama's and Papa's Pizzeria in LA. And when Kathy hosts, she only wants the best, which includes catering from celeb chefs and those amazing 950 back rack candlesticks on her table display. Well, that wraps up our look into the luxury lifestyle and homes of Kathy and Rick Hilton. We got a taste for how opulent their lives really are. Before we go though, answer this question for me. If you had the resources and the time, would you host amazing themed parties at your home for different events? Let me know in the comments if that's your type of thing. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.